Okay, in this video, we're going to look at three more examples of using indices. The first one is simplifying an algebraic expression. So, once again, take your time and take steps in order to solve it. So, deal with the numerator first in this case, because that's the more complicated of the two. We have 4 times 3 is 12. And then you've got x to the 5 times x to the 7 is x to the 12 because the indices would add together. And we've still got that 18x to the 4 in the denominator. Now deal with the fraction, the 12 over 18. 12 over 18 is 2 thirds, so I can write that as 2 thirds. And then you have x to the 12 divided by x to the 4. And when you divide, you subtract the indices. So this is x to the 12 take away 4, which is just 8. Now you can write that in several different ways. You can write that in 2x to the 8 all over 3, or as I have done there. Second one, write this expression as the sum of powers of x. This is a very important technique and will be used later in differentiation and integration. So first of all, Split the fraction up because they've both got this common denominator and you can write it as 1 over x squared plus x to the 8 over x squared. Okay, so you can split the fraction into two pieces. 1 over x squared, we know using our rules, is x to the minus 2 because the negative means 1 over. And you also have x to the 8 divided by x to the 2 which would be x to the 8 take away 2, so x to the 6. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to solve this equation. This, this uh, 3 to the x is equal to 1 over 81. It looks particularly nasty. Um, the first thing to do when we're dealing with these, write 81 as 3 to the something. Now we know that 81 is 3 to the power of 4. Okay, so we've got 3 times 3 is 9, times 3 is 27, times 3 is 81. So the right hand side, like what we wrote 1 over x squared as, can be written as 3 to the minus 4. And so you now know that if you've got 3 to the something is 3 to the something else, then those two somethings must be the same. So x must be minus 4. So if you try and plug 3 to the minus 4 into your calculator, you should get 1 over 81. Okay? And these are a few more examples of how we can use indices to express um, expressions in different forms and solve equations.